So hi everybody, I'm Renee McLaughlin, Master TCHAP Trainer and Health Coach, and I am here with one of my dear friends and colleagues, Dr. Kim Caporelli. Hey Kim, say hi. Hi, hi Renee. <laughs> And Dr. Kim is a doctor of Chinese medicine, and she also, we're so proud of her, she also just got another PhD um, in? It's public health and integrative functional medicine. Wow. So, yeah, let's just say, and that's on top of many, many other degrees and certifications that right, Kim has. Right. So, let's just say if it has to do with health, wellness, Kim is my absolute go-to resource and she not only is wonderful with patients and helping but also with research kim loves to do research she has access to some of the most incredible worldwide research so she's really able to get the most up-to-date current research on all different ingredients and just everything that's going on it's fabulous Kim also loves to formulate products. She years ago had an incredible greens product that we all loved, um, a boo boo cream, which was a beautiful homeopathic cream that we all loved. And now Kim has set her sights and her interest on researching and formulating products that have to do with CBD, because this is all one of the hot, hot, hot topics of conversation and there is so much information and misinformation as we all know just because we google it and somebody says it on the internet doesn't necessarily make it so so i thought i would bring dr kim on today to clear us up give us the absolute what is the truth about cbd so welcome kim Thank you. I'm so glad we can do this video one more time, huh? One more time. We did it before. It didn't have great um, audio or video. And so a lot of people are like, and what did she say? <laughs> so we thought we'd right. do it again and clear it up. So Kim, let's just start right off. What the heck is CBD? Well, CBD is a part of the marijuana family, but it is it, without the psychoactive component. It's, it stands for cannabinoid, and we have an endocannabinoid system in our body, and it activates, CBD will activate the, that system in our body, which is a very young system. It's only that we know of. I mean, it's an old system, but we have just uh, started to explore it. It's 30 years, so that's, it's really in its infancy. So share with me, what does that mean? Like, what is that system and why would we want to stimulate it? Right. Well, that, that system is kind of like your endocrine system. I kind of, I'd like to think of it as a, like your endocrine system, but it is, the receptors are throughout the body, mostly the body, a lot in the gut. And, you know, it all starts in the gut, right? With health. And it, it, it stimulates uh, the anti-inflammation component, it actually allows you to, um, your body to learn how to reduce inflama inflammation in the body. Wow, that's really interesting. So yeah. right off, I just want to say one more time, I'm just going to reiterate what you said. It okay. is not marijuana. It is from the family of the plant. It does not have the psychoactive, you are not going to get high, and it is legal in all 50 states. So you don't have to worry about anybody knocking on your door and taking you away in handcuffs because you've got an illegal right. substance, okay? Right. right. Um, now, there's one other big, big question, and we can move on, that I hear a lot. There's a lot of information of should we do a CBD isolate or full spectrum? Sure. Well, I feel you should do the full spectrum. It is the whole plant. Um, what makes it legal, because people are so scared that the isolate is isolated. That's what the word comes from. And a lot of people feel, oh, well, the isolate doesn't have any THC, and the full spectrum does. Well, it has to have less than 0.3%. I mean, no, 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 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0,
0.3%. So, so 3%, whatever. Um, <laughs> it has to have that to allow it to be, it, to be legal in the United States. Okay, so again, there's the, the THC is negligible, if at all, in yes, the first yes. DVD. Yes. And part of the thing, even just from an intuitive standpoint, there's a reason that we take the whole plant, right? I mean, there's so many other substances that work synergistically to make sure the CBD works in the cannabinoid system. Right. And I mean, it's just like any other plant, right? We don't want to isolate soy, but we can eat the whole and a mommy bean. So it's kind exactly. of a similar thing like that. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Definitely. Beautiful. Yeah. So what made you decide to get into really studying CBD and then starting to formulate products with it? Well, it's actually just uh, someone came into my office and put it on my desk. And I'm always looking for something that can assist my patients, especially reduce inflammation. Reduce inflammation if they're a fertility patient, if they're pregnant, if they have GI issues, if I have Crohn's patients, Parkinson's patients. Inflammation is inflammation. Oh, stress is still inflammation. So whatever they come in with, it's still under that umbrella again of inflammation. So I wanted to develop um, a product that was not only uh, worked like the CBD, but also was natural. It was also no preservatives in that product. I wanted it to be uh, almost to a luxury product to make it smell good. Not like you want to go around and, you know, oh my gosh, I have this muscle relief pain on a pain cream on and it smells so terrible. <laughs> I wanted it to have I wanted to have everything. So I decided this is what I want to do. I tried CBD in many different forms. It was working. It was working for my husband. It was working for my family, my grandchildren, my pets. What? I mean, it, was, it did the big kahuna. It did everything. So that's why I thought I'm going to research it, um, become a CBD advocate, teach it. I'm actually teaching at. Um, my state's, um, my state's conference this Saturday for a huge uh, an additional company that are, is sponsoring it. Um, it's really a, a more natural um, supplement company that we're actually teaching for continuing ed credits. So it just seems, CBD just seemed to fit into what I believed in. And that's where I, that's where I'm going with this. I love it. So if somebody's looking, and we'll get into kind of the products that you have and what else is in there, but if somebody's looking for CBD, because now there's a lot of stuff out there, you know, and of course there's a lot of whenever something gets big and science is behind it because there is science now showing, oh my gosh, this really right. is proven to help with certain things. Let's just go right there. Can you share some of the things that um, CBD is proven to help with? Okay. Um, the, the, the research is huge, but there's Parkinson's and everybody says there's not enough research. It's there. I actually have a list on a web, um, a PowerPoint webinar that I'm doing. Um, Parkinson's low back pain. There's research there, stress and anxiety, PTSD, um, uh, insomnia, insomnia. Thank you. Insomnia, uh, GI issues, if I haven't, you know, Crohn's and IBS. Seizures. Uh, seizures is the, one of the number ones where all, that's how it became famous. Migraines is wonderful for migraines. It's wonderful for menstrual cramps. Um, I've seen people that have endometriosis with severe pain during their menstrual period, but also I've seen that uh, endometriosis um, go down. They, they don't see as much endometriosis when they do a sonogram. So that's kind of interesting. So it, it just takes, a, there's a whole list of what it can help with. I love that. Lots of pain. Anything that has to do with pain, neurology, right, right. neuropathy. 
Beautiful. Okay. So the bottom line is try it for whatever ails you <laughs> just see, because it's not going to hurt. And who knows, it just might help. And even if it doesn't help with that one thing, it's really interesting to see all the other potential side effects, side effects, if you will. I know for myself, I got excited in taking it. Well, first I started with the cream and we've had tremendous success. We'll talk about that in a second. And then Kim started having more of the edibles, which are in capsules and oil and in gummies. And um, wow, just the whole nervous system calming down. That's what I get from it. And that is so huge because most of us never relax. Even when we think we're not doing anything, we're not relaxed. It's one of the reasons that I started to do my new stretch class, that we can really start working using the mind to just relax into our bodies, relax the muscles. But I love doing a little um, CBD before I do my stretch class because it's all just working together. So, um, so I'm finding it personally to be huge just for that. So... Um, Ways to take it, interestingly, it also it works beautifully topically, which is something I guess you found, which is why you decided to do it with cream, yes? Exactly, exactly. Um, the cream, whether it is a topical, whether it's an ingestible, air, no matter what they are, it still reduces inflammation. So the delivery system can be topical and ingestible. Wow, because wow. I know I'm doing those as well. So you started with the topicals, and of course I know you've done topicals before with the Boo Boo Cream and some of the other things, so you do have some experience in how to really formulate these, but this right. cream is so incredible, you guys, and you might have seen another YouTube video or whatever that I did before, the Rip Cream, which is Reduce Inflammation and Pain, which is so cute, um, but it is just... Oh, it's amazing. Share what all is in this product, the, the active ingredients, what makes it so beautiful. Okay. So in, in that, in, in that um, whipped cream, there is CBD, a combination of CBD, arnica oil, organic arnica oil, organic camellia oil, and also pearl powder. And pearl powder uh, is definitely from pearls. It's ground down and um, it's, and it's fine. It's like a fine powder that actually you can use um, on your face, you know, pearl powder. They, the geisha girls used to, they still do. They still use it. Um, and then the base cream has some, the vitamins A, E mm. and C in the, in the base cream. And also uh, a little bit of coconut oil, a little bit of olive oil, and um, then it has, and I like to call it terpenes. You know, it doesn't have, somebody says, what, so asked me uh, recently from our last conversation, we were talking about that. You know, what are people asking? They ask about the essential oils that I use. Well, they're so light that they're not really essential oils. There's, they're terpenes. There's a, they kind of are the flavoring of the cream. It's not basic, you know, the orange ginger itself. It's the flavoring of orange and ginger in the uh, cream. Oh, interesting. And you guys, it is, smells so fabulous. I know sometimes I just put it on just to smell it. That's why I keep it here. It's, it's an amazing smell. It goes right into your limbic system and just does something. I don't know what it is, but it's fabulous. And it goes on really, really nice and smoothly. And if you're having arthritis pain, it's great for that. Just put it on again. It goes right in along with the Arnica, which is a homeopathic that's been used for ever to reduce inflammation and bruising. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. And um, I think that some somebody also asked about um, the uh, third party testing. Yes. Our, I know that that was a, a topic. And we can provide that to anyone. We just don't put it on the website because it takes a whole page of the website where we could put other things that maybe people would be interested in. But it is organically grown also. Um, and also it's full spectrum. Every, every CBD um, solution in each one of the products is full spectrum. And it's not an isolate. 
Beautiful. Yeah, and the one. third party testing is really important because, you know, you guys have seen so many reports. Oh, you know, so and so went undercover and grabbed all these different products and tested to see if what it said on the label was really in there and no, no, no. And, you know, so we've gotten so skeptical, rightfully so, of just because you say it's all pure <laughs> right, and organically grown is what you say is in there truly, especially when it comes to the dosing, because you're talking about a certain milligram of a product that's a full spectrum in a plant. So, you know, how do you really know? So um, Kim did make sure that it goes out. Do you mind explaining just real quickly, third party testing, what that is and why that's important? Well, they, they call it third party because we don't, you know, we don't have any relationship. We actually send the product to this company that that's all they do. And then they, they test it several times, several different, they take one, um, one of the products and they look at it in all different ways. And then they measure the, I mean, for, just for this purpose only, they're measuring how much uh, CBD and whether there's any THC components in our product. Beautiful. So we know that when Kim says it's 100% pure and there's X amount of milligrams in the product, that it's not just her pulling this right out of the hat. She no. has all the third-party independent testing to verify that. Yeah. And if you want to just message her or text her, she's happy to provide that to you. So you can feel confident that when you're getting these, that is what you're getting. Really pure, pure, beautiful, organic ingredients and by the way the products do not have preservatives so you want to use them <laughs> use them up don't sit them in the inside because you won't be able to use them well, who knows for how long but you want to use your product <laughs> right right um i know what i wanted to talk about i want to talk about the difference between the massage cupping oil and the cream beautiful the only the only difference from the oil to the cream is that the cream has pearl powder. Oh. And that's, that's the only difference. So a lot of people, they say, well, I don't want to use the cream because I really don't want, the cream has a, a hint of lavender in it. So I'm allergic to lavender. And I always say, well, then go to the oil because it doesn't have the lavender. It doesn't have the base cream. It's just oil with, the CBD and the camellia oil and the um, arnica oil. So it has all those things in it. So go on, I mean, the oil, you know, you use it, Renee, right? I mean, it's, it's so I hear it thin. Like computer all the time. <laughs> yes. It's very thin. It's very smooth. It smells it's good. Right in. Yeah. I put it on after I'm in the sun. Love that because it reduces any kind of, uh, inflammation that I might have from sun and a, it moisturizes the skin. Camellia oil is the number one moisturizer anyway. Um, so it's a beautiful type of oil to be, you know, in, in that proprietary blend that we have. I love that. And man, I had not heard of that kind of oil before. So, but I know it does just do a beautiful job. So one more additional thing then you guys are burns sunburn put it on after you've been in the sun keep it around if something happens you're ironing or who irons but some people iron <laughs> whatever and you get a burn put it right on there and it will take that pain away right away and it won't blister that's right that's right we had that happened here in the kitchen so it's just been a real godsend for that as well and we do have the boo-boo cream back it's not the name is still Boo Boo Cream. It's, it was named after my, not after, my granddaughter actually named it when she was, when we made the homeopathic cream for kids. I asked her one day, what should I call this? And she said, Mom, Mom's Boo Boo Cream. And that's <laughs> why my granddaughter calls me. And it was so long ago. She is 18 now. <laughs> it shows you how long ago. Yeah. And the label actually has her self portrait from kindergarten on it. Yeah. And um, so it's still her oil, um, but it's just so exciting. And we're actually doing another cream that is um, a more manly uh, hand cream. It's a salve. It's for men that, you know, uh, construction workers, fishermen. And um, so 
we had to have that crane to be able to um, name it something that my grandson wanted. And that's, we, so we had that. We also have a coming out is a lip balm coming out that is amazing for your lips. You know, my lips get very, very chapped, whether I'm in the cold, whether I'm in the heat, um, just, you know, especially. Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. It's very nice too. So we, we're rolling out other products. And all based on the CBD. So you're yes. always going to get that. Absolutely. So you're always going to get the anti-inflammatory um, right. component, right. the antioxidant, the whole thing. Right. That'll be fabulous. Now, um, just to, and you guys, if you want to just check out the whole product line, which includes just regular face cream called Love Your Face. Again, they all have the CBD. Beautiful. It's one for firming up the neck. Yes. For serum that has vitamin C collagen in the CBD. Again, just really nice, pure products. It's a beautiful anti-aging line. Love it. And by the way, there's one other product that I want to mention. We'll come up close and do one of these with it. And it's called Re, Re I never say it right, Revagination. So it's for when we get a little older and sometimes our skin thins, etc. down there, it makes for a much nicer intimate evening. We'll just put it that way. Um, really, really nice oil with the CBD. So again, anti-inflammatory really helps to build up in those tissues. Is there anything else you want to say about that, Kim, specifically? Well, you know, revagination is uh, obviously for those intimate moments, and it doesn't even have to be for the intimate moments of um, our age, <laughs> the middle age woman. It can be for younger, I mean, just some lubrication. I mean, that happens. Uh, whatever's happening hormonally with that person, it can also be used in, for um, preparation of childbirth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, because it's so pure and it can be used, you know, a lot of us, uh, when you go through menopause, there's dryness mm -hmm. and then there's itching. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, I, I just read a um, article on CBD and vaginal itching. I couldn't believe that I found that. No kidding. Yeah. So, so you're on um, the forefront, of course. You're right. So anyway, yeah. it's just interesting that they definitely address that and how women are um, taking CBD by storm. And I think it is, I mean, it, it's a women's world within the alternative integrative medicine. You know, women are by far uh, percentage wise go to something more natural first, whether it's in natural medicine or natural products. Right. Absolutely, without a doubt. And let's face it, you know, Western medicine has not really focused on females. It's pretty male dominant. And, you know, we're kind of like, enough. We're all, let, you know, we're just going to take the bull by the horns, as it will, and let's go for it. So um, absolutely, guys, check that product out, too. There was one other one on there that somebody had asked about, and that was to help with fertility. And by the way, you guys probably don't know this, but... Um, Kim is one of the world's actually foremost fertility experts in acupuncture. And she has gotten many, many, many women pregnant and birthed many, many, many children. So she really is an expert on fertility and created something called Fertile Belly. And it's a cream, is it not, Kim, that you put on? It's, it's an oil. Uh -huh. It's an oil. And uh, rubbing, you know, when you love your tummy, great things happen in your tummy <laughs> and the caressing, you know, and an intimacy again, intimacy, but it also is reducing inflammation. And that's one of the reasons why uh, a female cannot get pregnant, but then you can keep on using it after you have uh, conceived to reduce stretch marks. Oh, and, you know, so that's, and then you bring in the revagination to prepare for childbirth you and a lot of people use the same oil anyway for uh, childbirth preparation. You know, you know, so many people are concerned about the, uh, the episiotomy. They're concerned about ripping and the oil really helps. They've been doing that practice. Midwives have been helping women with uh, preparing for childbirth for years 
with an oil. And this is like the ultimate oil. Love that. Oh my gosh, that's a whole other thing. So you guys, if that has, if you're kind of in that place, check yeah, that yeah. product out. Let's go then quickly over to her next site. Now, to get the creams, you can go to her website, which is gracefullymadeusa.com. And there she has all the products. You can check it out. You can purchase them there. They're all very reasonable and affordable. Thank you, Kim. So even though she has these beautiful products and the um, ingredients are all pure, she's managed to keep it really affordable. And then decided, hey, let's also have some ingestibles. So Kim has her ingestible. She actually put that, though, on a separate site. So for any of the ingestibles, you'll go to kmcanna, C-A-N-N-A, dot com, and there you'll find all the ingestibles. So let's kind of, can you share a little bit about some of the different ingestibles, about dosing as well, and what the milligrams mean? How, how do we, what sure. do we do with all that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you, would ha you have the CBD oil, the Lexer, that's what we put on the bottle. And it, it, we carry only 750 milligrams. Um, the reason being is whatever's in the bottle is what's on the bottle, but the whole bottle. So in that bottle, there's 750 milligrams, but in, a, in the dropper, it's only 30. So, so anyway, you would start out, I always say, start out low and go slow. So you've got your dropper of 30 milligrams. If you've gotten a full dropper full and you could only do a third of the dropper or four or five drops and you always start out low and go slow. Sometimes less is more. Right. right. Then, um, then you, the next thing would be the gel caps. I love the gel caps. They're um, 25 milligrams. Beautiful. They, um, you know, the, the absorbance rate is beautiful too. It's just right away. Then we have the um, vapes. These are cold vapes. These aren't like flavored vapes and hot and it's going to blow up in your face kind of thing. Um, and it, it isn't like that. And those are four to 600 puffs in that's the vapes. Okay. And that's, yes. And they come in. Uh, different, different, you know how different smells make the body re react differently. Mm -hmm. So they definitely have terpenes in it. So it's almost like a cross pollination of those. Yeah. So the thin, which is really good, it actually, it's CBD, but that little aroma, the bouquet, like wines have a bouquet, mm -hmm. actually turns off the mind to say, I'm full. Okay. And Mm -hmm. And it's more of a peppermint ish, but you have to, you have to think about it to be able to figure out what that is. So there's the vapes, there's, there's different, there's thin pain, straight CBD that doesn't have any kind of taste or smell to it. Mm -hmm. um, and there's focus and there's chill. Mm -hmm. So they're all so nice that I love the pain one. Whether I'm in pain or not, I just love it. It has a cinnamon kind of woodsy kind of taste, you know, so that's my favorite. Um, then there's the vape, there's the, oh, and there's the gummies, really my favorite. I mean, up to the, I just love them. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> I really do. It's bad. Um, but anyway, they are, they come in a pack in, in strawberry or watermelon or peach love them and you can take a half of one a fourth of one um, they work beautifully if you're in labor great if you're in labor um, so I think that the right yes can you, can you combine them so can you do a little vape and maybe uh, there's no reason not to right did I lose you <laughs> you're uh, your volume is really low. Can oh, let me pull it up. Can you pull it up on your side? I can hear a little bit, not as well. Okay, that's weird because it's loud on my side. Um, anyway, I've combined them 
two sometimes. So it's like sometimes I'll take half of a gummy and a calf and it all works well. <laughs> I just think it's terrific. They're all just wonderful. So you guys with the dosing, start slow, go, go low, start slow. And then right. see where you start to feel it. And what does feel it mean? You'll just see for me, it's just this really nice sense of relaxation and not high, <laughs> just, just a, just a really nice sense of relaxation. Again, that's inflammation, right? You're just reducing inflammation and that's how I kind of feel it. So, um, so for any of those, again, for your edibles or ingestibles, I think is how Kim says it, K-M, Canna with a C, C-A-N-N-A dot com. And you'll see all those. And again, those are kept really affordable as well for the really pure CBD, which is what she has. So you can probably find some in it less expensive, but it's not pure, regardless of what they say. It's not <laughs> because, you know, it takes, you know, it's, it's relatively expensive. To, to have the pure stuff. So thanks again, Kim, for keeping it affordable. Anything else that you want to say? Apparently I'm low. My sound just went down on you. <laughs> yeah, your sound is going in and out. I'm trying to read the lips and really listen. Um, <laughs> I'm done. I'm actually at, like I, my speaker and my headphone. Am I, am I loud or can you hear me well? You're fine. Okay. Um, I don't think so. I just invite people um, to definitely, if they can text me. We didn't tell them the telephone number, and I'm getting it because I don't know it by heart yet in my life. So it's 727-551-4444. Um, it's on the website. Um, text me. I do a lot of texting. I answered a lot of your uh, clients and your followers Thank questions you. all weekend long <laughs> and I'll do more of that. That's okay. I'm good with it. You know, we package the um, CBD products, whether it's gracefully made or Kim Canna, we package them all by ourselves. We don't have anyone else right now. Uh, it's working. My husband and I do it. And every once in a while I put a grandchild to work. Oh, yay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, it's summer, so they want money. And, um, but we're working on it's a brand new, this is a very, very young company and we're doing well. Uh, it's quality stuff. I would never put out anything that wasn't quality. And I'm just so excited. We have this, um, I, but we forgot to talk about the cherry pit warmies and they're called warmest stay. That's what we named them. And it all started from um, visiting you actually in That's Atlanta. Right. And we had those and you put on that rip cream and then put on the cherry um, warm warmies, warmest days. And it's just is like heaven. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, what Kim's talking about is if you've ever seen those and you might even have them, they come in. Usually they're like little animal kind of shapes, but they're kind of, I'm just going to call them pillows. And they, a lot of times will have like the buckwheat things inside and you put them in the microwave, heat them up and you put them on your belly, wherever you're sore. It's like a heating pad, but that's how you use it. Well, when Kim came, she it was at a market and this lady had them and she had, instead of the buckwheat, she had cherry pits and you would not believe it. You put these in the microwave and the smell is so divine. You get that cherry smell and they really hold the heat beautifully so putting the rib cream on with that on top oh man especially if you have any kind of period cramps stomach cramps sore arm whatever it is it works just great so she decided yeah this cherry pit thing is <laughs> we're going to get into the cherry pit business as well so that's fun yeah. well, you have that do you have that on the site yet probably not <laughs> i'm uh, you're still, say. it's almost like a whisper. <laughs> oh my God. You guys, I don't know what it is. But anyway, we're going to wrap this up. I think anything else you have? No? We're good. Okay. Let's wrap it okay. up. If you guys again have. We'll have to do another one. <laughs> we'll do another one. If you have any questions, okay. as Kim said. Just Thanks so much. Ask her. Thanks so much. We'll take care.